the iPod Shuffle. Should you buy it? Hopefully this review will help. The iPod Shuffle 4th generation made its debut September 12th, 2012, nearly a year ago. Not much has changed, it's just gotten a few new colors and nothing really special. This thing weighs a whopping 0.44 ounces or 12.5 grams. An aspect of how small this thing is, there's my 4 inch Galaxy phone. Look at that, it's like nothing compared to it. Man, that's just small. You know, this thing's so small, it's like you're not even carrying it. Now, this thing has 2 gigabytes of storage this may not seem like much to you but you know it's really a decent amount it's about 250 of your favorite song obviously this does not have a display like this sixth generation nano all right let's go over some features on top we have or on the front we have the control panel which is the volume up and down the back button forward button or rewind and fast forward we also have the play slash pause button Alright, going on the top, this is the far right, or on the far left, if you want to look at it from angling down here, so there's the far left view. Alright, anyways, you're going to move it over one, and moving over one, place all your songs in order. Now moving over two, place them all on shuffle. Alright, and then all the way over is off, obviously, we have the voice over. Pressing it once will tell you the name of the song, and then pressing it twice will tell you your battery percentage. There's the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there. On the back, we have the Apple logo and the clip to attach it to your pants. You don't actually have to attach it to your pants, but all you do is you just clip it right there, and you can play your songs, and you can obviously put this in your shirt or whatever. It has a built-in lithium ion battery. It takes about three hours for a full charge. This thing gets about 15 hours of music playback, so Apple claims to play after about 5 hours of music playback. I was at a whopping 75%, which is really good. So if you're looking at something with good battery, this is for you. This voiceover plays an array of languages. Just to name a few, English, German, Romanian, Russian, Canadian French, French, and so on. Apple also gave you a few goodies in the box. Alright, so as I always said, Apple gives you goodies, you have your quick start guide, and Apple also gave you a mini Apple sticker, it's really cool. Alright, so they give you the earphones, which are not the earpods, which are the newer ones. The earphones are older, that kind of predate 2012, but they are still really great headphones. They also give you a sync charge cable, it's about 3 inches, so I use an extension cord for it. Anyways, that's what the car looks like when it's charging. You're going to need Mac OS 10.6.8 or later, Windows XP or later, and iTunes 10.5 or later.